Hey all, welcome to uh, Living the Legend of the Possum, part one, uh, episode one. So uh, here I'm going to do a bit of a voiceover about possum country and uh, my journey. So I started out from Renmark, heading for Wentworth, didn't quite go to plan, but I've put together some episodes. But please enjoy, here's the first little bit of uh, the day one and the night before of me um, getting ready to go. Alright, here we are guys. Final post at home. Um, uh, just finalised a bit of stuff other than some clothing. Uh, we're all, or well, I'm all packed to go. <sighs> Shit, <it's>, uh, emotions. <laughs> um, raw emotions, guys. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep this. Uh, series going with how I actually feel and 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 how what I'm experiencing um, and at the time uh, so right now knowing that I'm going tomorrow morning um, I've got uh, one more sort of little interview to do with ABC um, before I head out but to have 250 k's in front of me, um, yeah, she's pretty full on. Um, emotions are, I don't know, everywhere. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be blatantly honest throughout this whole journey and, and tell you how it is because I don't beat around the bush. Um, people know I don't beat around the bush. I often get in trouble because I don't beat around the bush. Um, yeah. I had a bit of a cry this afternoon. Talking to my wife about how how proud I am. Um, I'm doing it now. Um, how proud I feel about doing this trip. It's how much passion I've got, guys. Um, the passion for the river, it has to come. It, you have to be doing something that you believe in. And I believe in our river. I believe in our system. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going through a roller coaster of emotions at the moment for the unknown. Um, Got plenty of mates along the way, don't you worry about that. I'm well looked after. But she's a hell of a long way. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so we're all packed up. I've weighed in. Uh, I'm about 102 kilo with the pack on. 74 generally, so about 28 kilo difference. Uh, other than I've got some clothes to pack still. Um, but yeah, I've got, I think, everything I need. Um, we're not far out now. <laughs> this time, or oh, this time tomorrow night I'm out there, so, um, yeah, I've light, I've lightened a bit of a sleeping bag arrangement. I've lightened a bit of stuff up. But, um, yeah, this is... This is by far the biggest thing I'm taking on in my life. Um, it's huge. Um, yeah, who knows where this is going at the end of it. <laughs> but we'll just get it all on record now. Um, yeah, but my passion for the river is we're doing it. <laughs> we're actually doing it. and. The emotional state right now would be because I'm proud of the river, I'm proud of its history. Um, I'm actually proud of what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not going to hide nothing from you on this trip, guys. It's going to be all out in the open. Um, yeah, I'm proud to stand up for our river, uh, our history, 
here we go. We're going to do it tomorrow morning. Come along. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I'm living my best life. I wake up with the sunrise. It does not look a thing like I thought that it would. Alrighty, so here's uh, arriving at Capram Station, the first little stopover. Along the way, this is just a photo of me uh, at Cowper Station. Ran into a nice guy called Keith. Now, Keith was able to draw me a bit of a mud map in the dirt, uh, and that was his recommendations to go around um, Wumpool and up to Meridy and then across. So enjoy that. Just going to do a little bit more recording um, on my phone, discovering... Uh, that the battery life on my cameras uh, isn't great uh, even though I'm running at a lower resolution got plenty of storage just battery life um, I think that's going to be one of my biggest things out here is the battery life as you can see we're out on a, a wet plane uh, wet plane or flood plane um, this is Capram station that's Meridy over there Lake Meridy we just went past um, Wumpool, uh, and uh, like I said, very rich Aboriginal history out here. So, uh, doing my best to thank the uh, the country for accepting me out here, um, and I'll be doing that along the way, guys. And I will, once I put all this together exactly every video um, at the start of it will be a thank you um, to the people um, the traditional custodians of this land um, and I'll get every tribe uh, information and put up but uh, yeah going around Meridy now that's it over there uh, as you can see the box trees out here are A little bit worse for wear, but yeah, we're on our way to Chowler, um, and yeah, check in after guys, see ya. Oh, just got into a little bit thicker sort of marsh. Oh, this is wet floodplain. Um, it's a little bit hit and miss, it gets thin, and, but it's all over the joint. You can see the floods have impacted here this year. Got nice trails there. Um, I'm nearly at Meridy. Uh, Meridy. Uh, yeah. Just. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty good. I. The the weight is. I think I'm slowly. I'm getting used to it. Um, oh, this, these are going to be some beautiful wild pig faces out here this year. Um. Yeah, it's pretty tough, <laughs> um, but we're getting through. I'm getting through it. It's just me and some kangaroos and cut the emu out here. But wouldn't mind uh, finding a fresh batch of emu eggs. Ooh, ooh. And then I just got to catch a pig and it's eggs and bacon <laughs> tomorrow morning. That'd be nice. Uh, I'm not real hungry yet. Had a big feed last night, so I'm not real hungry. Um, I've had a little bit of water. Um, being conservative on that, just sort of keeping my mouth moist. Um, yeah, I reckon we're approaching 10 a.m. Um, had a bit of a late-ish start. I uh, had ABC come out again and but uh whew. yeah I reckon 10 o'clock I might have a bit of a sit down I should be at Meridy by 10 o'clock might have a sit down make myself an iced tea or something along them lines uh yeah just have a little 15 minute spell um I mean ultimately I got points to meet every day but uh, there's no point flogging yourself to 
to do it I'll just take that extra day if I have to um, you'll notice I do a lot on my phone uh, yeah I've discovered a bit of a problem with my cameras um, bound to happen but I got plenty of space on my phone I'll still be able to document it all um, what else can I tell you that's changed in the last hour not really a great deal, eh? <laughs> still, still out here in the sort of countryside. Uh, haven't really hit the river systems yet from where I started. Um, yeah, a couple of lakes. Um, that's about it, but not really much to check in with this hour. I just keep on moving east um, the best I can. Oh, I think I'm getting a blister on my toe. I can feel it. Uh, didn't really plan for that. <laughs> I do have a first aid kit. We'll wrap him up. Um, yeah. Other than that, guys, I'll uh, check in at, I don't know, 11, 11 Who knows? Who knows when I'll check in? Who knows what I'll do? But one thing's for sure. I'm not going anywhere out here in a hurry, am I? <laughs> See you later. A couple of quick selfies uh, along the way at Lake Meridie. And then I jump on Google Maps to uh, exactly pinpoint where I was on the map. And as you can see, I'm up the uh, northern end of Lake Meridie. So I've just been here from a bit of a spell. And uh, <laughs> look who's... Hey, guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> pretty cool when you can um, be out here with them what have we got there male and a couple of young females I reckon yeah might follow them <laughs> get some um, get some eggs <laughs> uh, so yeah I've just finished my morning smoko type thing um, yep gonna I just uh, Configured it all. Need to get my solar panel out for me um, camera here or my phone. And uh, now we're going to make our way around Meridy and up to Chowla. And um, yeah, I, like I said on my um, post, um, yeah, I stuffed up my calculations. I'm still about 20 k's away from night one, so got to keep moving. All right, so I'm having another rest. Um, I'm 18 k's in. You can see I'm sweating. <laughs> um, definitely sweating. Back's a little bit sore, but other than that, still good spirits. Um, I'm about 6 k's out from Chowla. Um, I'm out the back here, but I've had to navigate some extra water. Um, yeah. Just me and the landscape out here. <laughs> I'm out on the floodplain. Pretty easy trekking, or pretty smooth trekking, but yeah, like I said, had to navigate a bit of water, go around it. Um, I, I've, yeah, I've done 18 Ks in four and a half hours. So I'm not quite keeping up my five Ks an hour. But that it was that was with going around a bit of stuff and through some pretty thick little country. Um, third bottle of water. Uh, I have plenty, so um, third bottle of water. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep keep moving. Um, like I said, I stuffed up my night one spot. Um, Still from here, it's still 17 k, so another four and a half hours, but that's pushing nearly dark. But we'll see how far I get. Um, yeah, it's um, it's different. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna have a quick another five minutes and throw it all back on and do it all again oh i've already broken one of my phone chargers i accidentally yeah i accidentally put my bag down with my phone connected and it snapped 
damn it, down to one more charger. <laughs> I did bring two, but wasn't planning on wrecking stuff this this early in. Super cautious now though. <laughs> See us. So a couple of more selfies here guys and then I keep trekking on that extra uh, few k's and I eventually made it to Chowilla Station um, to the Shearer's Quarters and the Wool Shed. A uh, very special place in my heart. This is where my wife and I got married. So um, it was also a uh, great relief to make it there. Um, along the way a mate of mine was out on the river and he dropped me off a care package and he sent me a message saying care package. I said righto and I went and looked for it. And it happened to be a beer, so thanks, mate. <laughs> oh, I stopped, didn't I? Um, yeah, well, here we are at Chowilla Woolshed. Um, so, oh, I'm so sore. <laughs> uh, to this point, I have done 25 Ks. Um, yeah. Oh, 25 k's. What a mission. Oh, looks like they're stripping it all out. So this is the Chowler wool shed. Um, I'll take you around to the sign. If it's still around here. Yep, here it is. Chowler station sign. Alright, here's proof that I'm out at Chowler, guys. So, Chowler Station is a pastoral property, running mainly sheep, size of approximately 93,000 hectares. Alright. Um, so, yeah, 1896, uh, or oh, the Robinson family in 1864. Um, possum would come out here after shearing season. Uh, on his travels through um, swim the river sometimes over that side come in and rifle around um, the shearers quarters here which are over there um, but then also come in here and have a look around see what knickknacks he could um, find so this is a bit of a documentation like I said out at Chowler. Um, oh, I'm so stiff now. I, I had to pull up. Like I said, I'm 25 k's in for the day. It's a fair trek uh, across that country that I come through. It was there was more water out there than I anticipated. So um, had to go around a bit of stuff. Um, yeah, couldn't go through it. Couldn't go under it, can't go over it, got to go around it. So, yeah, uh, here we are, guys, at the uh, Shearer's Quarter. Uh, as you can see, they were severely impacted by the flooding um, we had up in this region this year. Uh, but they're slowly getting it back together, pulling some stuff apart. Um, yeah, monumental spot. Um, happy to be out here. Now I'm just going to trek on. Uh, and um, and uh, set up camp for the night and put my feet up. I'm, I'm done with walking today. <laughs> I did say to ask me at the end of the day, and this is getting towards the pointy end of the day. So, um, yeah, I am sore. My back is sore. My, all my shoulders are sore and my legs are sore. But good rest tonight, and uh, we'll continue on tomorrow. Uh, next I'll see you guys will be the camp set up for the night and um, doing a bit of fishing. Yeah, let's get some fishing done. See you guys. Well guys, um, I'm going to set up just here for the night. I'm done walking for the day. Uh, I think I've finished up with 27 k's, so I've done another two more from the wool shed, and I just, I, tonight that's it. <laughs> so I'm going to set up, um, I've got a bit of a hammock set up. Um, yeah, I'm going to set that up, set my tarp up, my rope up, 
do a little bit of video on here guys so that you can see the setup uh, and then I'll get it once it's finished as well. Super good straps, um, yeah, they support everything quite well. I will clear all this stuff away because I'll probably end up burning it tonight. So even if, if I do collapse it tonight, I don't fall onto anything. sat down on anything all day. Oh. You know what? That feels magnificent. Oh. You know, just go to sleep now. Oh. 27 Ks. Still 200 something to go. Tell me it gets easier guys, cause today was pretty rough. Day one, I guess, not really knowing what to expect. Um, yeah. Hopefully it gets a bit easier. Hopefully a bit of food in there tonight, I'll cook it up, um, make it a bit lighter. It's so bloody heavy, so heavy. <laughs> Really, um, really did underestimate that on my shoulders. Like, my shoulders feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger at the moment. They're so rock hard. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish setting this up and then I'll uh, press play again after it's all set up so you can see what I'm dealing with. home tonight um, my tarp with my hammock under it got my fire going I did pack some veggies um, I did say that I'm gonna try and hunt along the way I think the excitement of today just got to me and I, um, I, I really did push myself so we will we will hunt and gather along the way but probably just not today <laughs> um, got to let this all sink in um, yeah it's a, um, it's a pretty big thing we're doing here um, yeah I'm pretty happy I don't know mixed emotions uh, you know I couldn't get across one place um, the water's up um, so that's shut down. That was one of my crossings to get out to Pipe Clay. So we've actually just, oh, I've just settled for the Woolshed, um, Woolshed Creek here, which I can follow that around and it will get me back onto the same path. But it's a little bit longer. I was going to cut across this island here and um, head out that way. But yeah, now I'll be going around. Uh, I think this is what it's, it's going to be. It's going to be um, deal with the water as I get to it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll grab the camera and have a bit of a show through. All 
Um, so a little stack of firewood for tonight. Some veggies down there and some alfoil, just get my coals going now. Literally my hammock and tarp strung over. And then there's the hammock. She's all set to go, sleeping bag and a jacket as a pillow. This is the area I'm in. Uh, right down on the creek system here. Um, about two and a half, three k's click from um, from the wool shed that I was at earlier today. So nice, nice little system here. Woolshed Creek. Um, I haven't seen too much water in this one ever. <laughs> so this is concerning. <laughs> um, heading east. Uh, if there's water here, there's water over east. So, yeah, but... Um, so coming Just do a bit of a take on that now, guys. Um, yeah, my gut instinct was plane. there was water there. So there was water going to be over east, and that's what it uh, potentially cut my uh, trip short but yeah mm, so gut feeling mm, was the go <laughs> but yeah this is camp night one 27 k's gonna sit down a bit later i, I bring a note notepad and paper um a pretty decent one uh, sit down and um start writing my journal on everything that's happened today, um, people I've met, um, places I've been, <laughs> um, what I'm, how I'm feeling. Um, yeah, it's um, I'm I'm very sore, <laughs> but um, uh, hopefully a good night's sleep. I felt this way before, but um, the legs are coming good. That's from just being in one spot for a while. Where's that sun? Um, yeah, my legs are coming good, but my shoulders aren't coming any good just yet. But, uh, oh, I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. The package. The package. Maddie, the package is open. The, the, the gift package is open. And the gift package does taste pretty bloody good. <laughs> So cheers for that, bud. I oh, yeah. much appreciate that. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys. Uh, yep. I'll I'll get some stuff done. I'll take a few photos of the area. Um, yeah, to help go along with some more um, more posts. But um, let me know what you think so far, guys. How are we doing? How am I doing? What do you, you know, what are your thoughts so far? Um, out there, oh, get out of this sun. Out there is the wide world of unknown. <laughs> oh, just give me five minutes. Cheers, all. Alrighty, tuck of time. Not sure how good the quality of this video will be, but. Check out the crack of sunset in the distance. Oh, she's warm. Oh, she's nice and warm. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Roast veg. Cooked. Hang on, let me wipe this off. I want to eat some dirt. What have I got on there? Where's what? Oh. Just, just oh, that's all I got. Bottle of water, um, yeah, keeping the fluids up. Had that one, one beer from Maddie. That was real nice. Um, good way to finish the day. But this is the second good way of finishing the day. Having a bit of a feed. Um, yeah, that in the background. Fish jumping in the creek. Reeky running around everywhere. Um, it's getting dark first night not much out here other than me guys um, wild animals but I should sleep like a baby tonight 
All right, let's cut into it. Oh, she's hot. Oh, too hot. Guess what, that's what happens when you cook it in the fridge, eh? Oh, don't drop it. Oh. That's hot. First thing I've eaten all day, though. Um. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to tucker this off. Um, I'll probably, I've got my phone and all that on charge at the moment, and my little battery system. Um, yeah, I just, um, just had one of Possum's relatives message me from over in New Zealand. That's pretty cool. And they're pretty keen to follow along. They want to come over and have another look around. They've been over once before and, and explored a little bit of where he lived. But, yeah, hopefully this documentation, um, Will help them so uh welcome aboard robin <laughs> thanks for um thanks for coming on board and um yeah i'm gonna tuck her into this guys and then probably hunker down for the night i'm absolutely beat all right so if you don't hear from me tonight next post tomorrow through the door like tnt put a hand on her hip pointed a finger at me said i'm a whiskey drinking cowboy chasing hey guys that's day one done stay tuned for day two cheers